Hello and welcome to this short video about a uh, Rotel RCD965BX which is Rotel's uh, mid-range offering. Uh, it is a decent unit uh, based on Philips mechanism and chipset. Um, what we have here is a uh, CDM419 which is um, the most reliable in my book at least mechanism ever made. It's a magnetic swing arm which we'll get there later and uh, this is a uh, Roam Bitstream DAC or this is reflection there that's why you couldn't see it and that DAC is SAA7351 GP and it says what on earth is that? Well it's a Philips DAC but you can see it is used in um, Arkham, Audio Mecca, Conrad Johnson, Sam Moran's about five meridians, a lot of micro megas, a lot of Philips, Revox, and Studer, and then, and that's the Revox RCD uh, 965BX. So it's 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 in good company. The um, SPD output is pretty decent. You know, it's not square, but the vertical transitions, you know, from up and down are. A vertical and this is what DAX are looking for. Um, reasonably well built, the board looks of um, that it's a quality unit and there has been a lot of modifications here. Um, for starters, for starters, let me turn that down f further, a lot of black gates. Black gates are highly revered capacitors in audio community and we have here two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. So at 30 to 50 bucks a pop, I don't know, depending on value, well it's at least three to four hundred dollars worth of capacitors, modifications. Further modifications, you know, there are polystyrens here which are highly stable and some styro seals, I, I, I'm i not sure if those styro seals were there but the, the polystyrene most certainly weren't, you know, you can see how they are fitted, they are axial capacitors and they replace some radials. Other than that, for those interested, we have a few Panasonics, one, two, three, and the rest are Nishikon. So, I mean, decent stuff and of course black gates are extremely expensive. Further, as you can see, the um, cable from the board to the output this is actually and I was looking for it and I finally found it, it says somewhere there there it is it is audio note so audio note stuff uh, it's an English brand is extremely again extremely expensive so somebody spent some real money on uh, modifications here and there is more um, this is, I think is a bit silly, but but I suppose, well, for starters, you see, this is a clamp. Clamp is on a couple of springs and uh, it's mechanical, so there's no magnets there. As you see, they put some kind of a goo there, or, or, or silicon, which is, you know, it's flexible. I suppose this is to deaden it a bit. And you think, well, it doesn't do any harm, and I, and I have to agree that it doesn't, you know. <laughs> but one thing I, I'm not that fond of is this. They painted the uh, tray green. And, you know, there was a thing at, at, at one stage that you, there, was a special, there were special pins in which you paint the CD to, you know, reduce laser light scatter in maybe that was the thing the, the whole problem is that when laser and this is the you can see the swing arm mechanism there oh maybe not because I wasn't showing this is this is the thing there uh, it focuses there, there is less than millimeter of, of a focus whereas that tray is not really engaged in any way and also when the whole thing goes in the tray goes down, so it goes further for another like four millimeters. So it's not part of the 
of this mechanical assembly or me mechanical electrical assembly is just not there as you see it went really down you know if you look it is at higher level and then just drops so it has nothing to do with it really but you know I don't know if I can remove that um, thing because it looks like a, a decent pen it's like done with the pen you can see it here but, um, well, maybe I'll just leave it, you know. Somebody went to a lot of trouble. So, uh, that's all, folks. Uh, my musings about this player. It, it, um, well, it's certainly it's a decent unit, you know. It's, it's not the highest fidelity you can get, but, but certainly it is not a bottom bargain basement. It's, it's firmly sort of a mid-range unit. Well, thank you very much, and until the next one. Bye-bye.